Okay, we are going to do 9.1, question number 6. So our question is, a 1.5 meter tall boy is standing at some distance from a 30 meter tall building. The angle of elevation from his eye to the top of the building increases from 30 degree to 60 degree. As he walks towards the building, find a distance he walks towards the building. Let's start. After reading the question, I was able to figure out that this the height of the boy is 1.5 and the height of the building is a 30 meter okay now when the boy is at this point and he views the top of the building the angle of view from his eyes is at a 30 degree correct that is given the question now as he comes towards the building okay the view of his eyes towards the building now it becomes how much 60 degree okay 60 degree in order to make it clear the question to allow us to find out that from this point to this point what is the distance now I'm going to give this as a B C D lower area as a E F and G now the height of the building is a 30 meter okay where is the boy the height is 1.5 so if you minus 30 minus the height of the boy you will get a b because the height of the boy is when it comes it becomes b and f so if you minus 30 minus b f you will get a b correct so let's start with the details that is given okay so I have just wrote it down that is the height of the building AF30 the height of the boy ED 1.5 like I said the other half of the building if you minus with the height of the boy that is AB equal to 30 the height of the building minus 1.5 the remaining height of the building will be 28.5 meter okay that is the other remaining portion of the building now let's talk about in angle a b d a b d e okay now this is now this is a perpendicular this is a hypotenuse the area line is base okay so perpendicular we already got a b as a 28.5 and in base we are going to find this because the question told us to find this baseline right and the angle at d is a 30 so it will be P may become under tan, tan, t, turn purely black. Okay. So tan, theta equal to perpendicular, that is AB, base, that is BD. So tan, theta, it, this angle is a what? 30 degree. And AB, we got it as 28.5. We're going to get bd the total base okay next line tan 30 we'll go this side because we're going to find bd so bd equal to 28.5 by tan 30 degree bd equal to 28.5 by tan 30 is 1 by root 3 okay so bd in the final form we have 28.5 root 3 we got BD BD now let's find this angle C is 60 degrees so let's find BC so in angle in angle ABC tan theta equal to AB by BC tan we have theta has a 60 degree AB we have 28.5 same BC BC will bring it this side because we are going to find BC so 28.5 by tan 60 so next line BC equal to 28.5 tan 60 is what root 3 okay by root 3 
So we got BCS, BCS 28.5 by root 3. Now we already got BD and we have BC. So we'll minus BD with BC to find this answer. Okay. Now since I'm right run off the page, I'll just make it a straight line. And I'll write here distance walked. That is a BD minus BC. I'll repeat again the distance walked by the boy from this angle, right? Till this angle. We already got BD, we already got BC. So if you minus BD with BC, only this will be left. Right. So what we got? BD we got as a 28.5 root 3 minus BC we got 28.5 by root 3. Now there is no denominator, I'll just give it one. Okay, next line 28.5 multiply with root 3 into root 3 is a 3 minus 1 into 28 is a 28.5. LCM of 1 and root 3 is a root 3 only. So if you multiply 28.5 with 3, you get a 85.5 minus 28.5 by root 3. Sorry. Now if you minus 85.5 with 28.5, the number that you will get is a 57 by root 3. Now since this is in the form of 57 by root 3, root 3 you have to rationalize. So 57 by root 3 into root 3 by root 3. So 57 root 3 Okay, root 3 into root 3 will be 3. Can we cut this? Yes. 3 1 to 3. 3 9 to 27. So your final answer is 19 root 3. With this, we have completed our question. That is 9.1, question number 6. Thank you.